Hello, everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also known by Sean D. Right here in the city of Memphis in the county ship in the state of Tennessee. Day to day, it's early Monday morning, December the 4th, 2017, time 3.50 a.m. First, say thank you to all my fans, my support, for your continued encouragement and support. I'm going to continue to keep myself employed right here in this Memphis try to stay area. I'll continue to further my education more work kind of online. Pursuing my social media study, business administration, concentration mark. What I'm gonna do right now, do my Instagram. Hello everybody, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also on the right side there, right here in the city of Memphis in the county of the state of Tennessee. Today's date is early Monday morning, December the 4th, 2017, time 352 a.m. First day, thank you to all my fans, my support for your continued encouragement and support. First, I want to always give thanks to God for all the blessings and the guidance that He provides us all with.
ผมดูไว้นะดูมาเฟซบุ๊กลาเ
and uh, 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 that's chapter Acts chapter 6 uh, verses 1 2 and verses 7 it talks about the disciples uh, Acts chapter 9 that's when it talks about Saul from Tarsus Acts chapter uh, 9 the very first uh, verse verse one, number 1 it tells that uh, Saul from Tarsus was persecuting the disciples of the Lord that's what it says in verse number 1 Acts chapter 9 verse number 1 and that uh, on a road called uh, straight in Damascus Saul from Tarsus was supposedly converted by our Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ And after being converted, uh, he goes about allegedly being with the disciples. In Acts chapter 9, it also talks about uh, Tabitha, uh, 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 Dorcas, uh, being brought back to life by the Apostle Peter and uh, we know it, it, uh, the book of Acts continues to tell us about uh, Saul from Tarsus now Acts chapter 11 it talks about uh, in verse number 26 the disciples of the Lord were first being uh, called Christian and, uh, in Antioch we know that's a lie it's a lie and we know who we, we, it doesn't specifically say it was Saul but we know Saul from Tarsus was in Antioch and we know that uh, later on uh, it's revealed it, it becomes obvious that Saul was behind was was uh, was the one who did this and so uh, like I said Acts chapter 11 verse 26 that's one that's the first place where you find this lie being a Christian and uh, now you know uh, Acts chapter 22 um, uh, Saul from Tarsus the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul he lied about his his conversion in uh, Acts chapter 26 Saul from Tarsus again this time he, he, he's uh, talking to King Agrippa he, again he lied again about his conversion about being converted he lied now Acts chapter 26 verse 28 that's the second place this lie called Christian. King Agrippa said he was almost persuaded to be a Christian. And uh, Saul lied about his conversion. And, and you know that's a lie. I'm talking about being a Christian. The third place in the Bible that you find this Christian is in, in uh, 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 4 uh, verse 16. If any man suffer as a Christian, let him first uh, on his behalf go to God on, the, on his behalf. Don't lie on the Apostle Peter. The Apostle Peter never told any person to be a Christian. The Apostle Peter did not tell any person to be a Christian. The Apostle Peter was telling everybody that there were those that were going around lying and that he was aware of, the, of these people lying telling you to be a Christian he knew that when people were going around lying none of the apostles told you to be a Christian the, all those that followed Jesus Christ the disciples and Jesus Christ chose 12 to be his apostles 
มีจุดบาปอาสอพีเรดินาเทียร์ any person to be a Christian that's a lie The Apostle Peter was telling you he was aware. I'm, I'm Peter. He said, "I am Peter, a servant of Jesus Christ." The very first Peter, the very first chapter, the very first verse. Go to First Peter, chapter one, verse number one, and deal with it. And deal with it. Don't just go around running your mouth. Go to First Peter, chapter one, verse number one. Now how you gonna go all around the world into other people, and you don't, you yourself don't even know who the Apostle Peter is. But you gonna sit up here and accuse Apostle Peter of, of telling you to be a Christian. Apostle Peter did not tell any person to be a Christian. What, what the Apostle Peter was telling you, it was compassion. It was the grace. It's the mercy from God. God will punish you for lying. God will punish you for saying you're a Christian. It's a lie. That's what the Apostle Peter was was uh, doing. He was showing compassion, grace. He was showing mercy. It's God working through the Apostle Peter. So don't lie on the Apostle Peter, and don't lie on God, because that's what you, that's what you be doing. You be lying. The Apostle Peter in, in, in 2 Peter uh, chapter 3 verses 15 through 18. The Apostle Peter was, in, was uh, making it aware. He was making everybody aware that he was aware of the epistles that Saul from Tarsus, the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul, that he had wrote, that he knew about it. And he was telling everybody about these epistles. Not to not to take it that way. Don't take it that way. Whatever he wrote in those epistles, don't take it that way. As if as if, as if it's the truth. Because first of all, nobody told him to write no epistles. See, that's the reason why the Apostle Peter told everybody, I'm Peter. And beloved brother Saul, Paul, with all his epistle writing. See, don't fall, don't fall weak to what he be saying in his epistle. Because he, he was never taught by Jesus Christ. He was never taught by Jesus Christ. And so that's that's all. Uh, we don't have time, and uh, also uh, we know about these man-made churches, these man-made religious organization. these man-made religious organizations the Catholic Church the Church of, the church of Christ the Anglican Church uh, 
Orthodox, Eastern Orthodox, all the man-made church, uh, the Baptist church, the Methodist church, the Lutheran church, the Presbyterian church, the Episcopalian church, the Amish church, uh, the, uh, what they call them, the Scientologist church, all these man-made churches, Nation of Islam, Black Hebrew Israelites, all that man-made junk, some junk. Romans chapter 16, verse 16, salute one another with a holy kiss. The church with the suffix es, suffix es, of Christ, salute you. And when you see who wrote this junk, it was Saul from Tarsus. He wrote this. Now for the other one, the other place, Second Thessalonians. Who wrote it? Saul from Tarsus. Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse number four. So that we ourselves glory in you in the church with the suffix es, churches of God for your patience and faith and all your persecution and tribulation that ye endure. So again, uh, Now, uh, what we're going to do now, uh, we're going to continue to talk about African traditional religion. As you know, African traditional religion is being taught at institutions of higher learning, meaning uh, colleges and universities in Sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, you can earn a bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD studying African traditional religion. to read from and refer to his title West African Tradition Religion written by Dr. Joseph Omasane Valenu Dr. P. Adelumo the Pengu. Another book we're going to continue to read from and refer to his title African Tradition Religion and Definition written by Dr. E. Baloja Adomu. to read from referred to as title African Religions and Philosophy read by Dr. John S. M. B. Another book we're going to continue to read from referred to as title Concepts of God in Africa read by Dr. John S. M. B. As you know, governments all over all over the earth, they continue to uh, enact laws. And those laws are intended to make each and every one of us safe from crime, organized crime. And uh, the United States government enacted a law 
of the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970. In Title IX of the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970, the Racketeer influenced that corrupt organization act, the RICO Act, anti-gang. The Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1970, the Controlled Substance Act, the Psychotropic Substance Act, the Continuing Criminal Enterprise Statute, the Kingpin Statute, is all anti-gang. Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention Act of 1974 established the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention plus other related legislation as anti-gang. The Comprehensive Anti-Gang Initial Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention and Comprehensive Gang Model Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the Office of Justice Program, and the United States Department of Justice. The Office of Justice Program, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, the United States Department of Justice. The Comprehensive Anti-Gang Initiative Project State Neighborhood, the United States Department of Justice Office of Community Oriented Policing Service, the Comprehensive Anti-Gang Initiative, the Office of Juvenile Justice and Legacy Prevention, United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program, Bureau of Justice Assistance, International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, United States Department of State, the Institute for Intergovernmental Affairs, Gang Resistance Education and Training, the GREAT Program. United States Department of Justice, Office of Justice Program, the Office of Juvenile Justice, the Link to Prevention in October 2009, the National Youth Gang Center, which had been funded by the Office of Juvenile Justice, the Link to Prevention since 1995, merged with the National Gang Center, which had been funded by the Bureau of Justice Assistance since 2003, the National Gang Center, compilation of state laws against gangs. You can go to the National Gang Center website and you can be informed by state laws against gangs. Uh, gang prevention, an overview of research program of Mr. James C. Howe, uh, the Office of Juvenile Justice Link Prevention, United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Assistant, Office of Juvenile Justice Link Prevention, National Gang Center Bulletin. Now, the title of that bulletin History of Street Gangs in the United States. Now, in the, in the bulletin, there are books in the bulletin. Read the books in the bulletin. And also go to Wikipedia, you'll find the same information. And the title of the information is all Gangs in the United States. The United States Department of Justice Officer of the United States Attorney Man of 1457 Criminal Street Gang Statute 18, United States Code 521. United States Department of Justice Federal Bureau of Investigation National Gang Intelligence Center, United States Department of Justice Organized Crime and Gang Section, and other federal, state, and local agencies. United States Department of Justice Office of the Justice Office of Justice Program National Institute of Justice Anti-Gang Strategies, Prevention, Intervention, Assessment, and Suppression. United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program National Institute of Justice, United States Department of Health and Human Services. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, National Center for Injury Prevention and Control, Changing Course, Preventing Gang Membership, and also Strive, Striving to Reduce Youth Violence Everywhere, and also the United States Department of Justice, United States Department of Education, United States Department of Health and Human Services, United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, United States Department of Labor, and the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, National Forum on Youth Violence Prevention Forum. You can go to youth.gov and be informed about the National Forum on Youth Violence Prevention. The United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, National Crime Prevention Council, keeping kids out of gangs, and also anti-hazing. You can go to lawyers.com and be informed about anti-hazing. And uh, <coughs>
and also uh, coercion, coerce, sexual coercion, psychological coercion, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse, coercion, coerce, sexual coercion, psychological coercion, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse. Continue to talk about gang, German, that's German, uh, goon, that's English, which is German, uh, boss, that's Dutch, that's German, and that abbreviation, uh, mob, uh, that's Latin. All you know, those people know the German and the Latin uh, people, speaking people, they live in Europe, Western Europe mainly. And uh, there are other European people living in Eastern Europe. And uh, the, the issues that we are addressing, uh, the East European, they, they were not involved. They did not participate in the, in the West African trade, in Eastern, East African and West African slave trade. Now, the Albanian-speaking people, they were not involved. They did not participate in the East African West African slave trade. The Baltic speaking people, the Baltic speaking people. The East European nation of Lithuania and Latvia, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. of Greece. The Greek speaking people, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. Slavic speaking people, the Slavic speaking people, East European nation of Russia, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, Bulgaria, Belarus, the Ukraine, the former Yugoslavian republics of uh, Serbia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. 
Slovenia, Montenegro, Macedonia, and Kosovo. They were not involved. They did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. East European nation of Turkey, also known as uh, Anatolia, and also the Ottomans, the Ottoman Empire, for example, the Ottoman Empire. They speak the Altaic language. This, the Turkic language is classified as Altaic. Now, the Altaic speaking people, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. The East European nation of Hungary, the Hungarians, the East European nation of Finland, the Finnish people, the East European nation of Estonia, the Estonians. And the, the language that they speak is classified as Uralic, Altaic, Uralic, Altaic language. And um, the Uralic, uh, Altaic speaking people, uh, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. The East European nation of Romania, 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 Romania. Uh, is is a uh, Latin. Is a Latin speaking uh, nation. And uh, Romance language, as you know, the Romance Latin and the Romance language of uh, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and uh, the Romanian people historically are not Latin. The Romanian people historically are Greek. They are Greek. And uh, the early history of uh, Romania, and, uh, prior to the Roman conquest of Dacia, the territory between the Danube and the Niger River were inhabited by various Thracian peoples. 
The Thracian people are Greek, including the Dacians and the Gite. Now, Roman occurs under Roman uh, under Emperor Trajan between 101 and 102 A.D. and 105 and 106 A.D. resulting in half of the Dacian kingdom becoming a province of the Roman Empire called Dacia Felix. The Roman rule lasted for 165 years, and during this period, the province was fully integrated into the Roman Empire, and a sizable part of the population were newcomers from other provinces. The Roman colonists introduced the Latin language. According to followers of the continuity theory, the intense Romanization gave birth to the Proto-Romanian language. Okay? So that's, that's the reason why today the Romanian people speak Latin. And uh, Romania uh, is divided in, into three uh, had three divisions of uh, uh, Moldavia, Transylvania, and Wallachia. Now, uh, Romania has a history of slavery. And uh, slavery in uh, Romania, the people who were enslaved were the Roma people. Now, the Roma people also known as the Gypsies. They were enslaved. And the Roma people are from India. They, they are Indians. Originally, they are Indian people. Now, there are, there are Roma people all over Europe, living in Europe today, as, as well as possible other places on, on the planet Earth. But like I said, the Roma people are an Indian people. <coughs> True. And, uh, and also uh, slavery in Romania was abolished in the early 1800s to mid 1850s. It was abolished. Now you know that's legal, that's, that's legal terminology. And uh, when you abolish, you end, it's the government, it's the government that ends. And, uh, when you when you abolish something, you also saying that it's wrong, and that's what uh, the Romanian government told the Romanian people. It was wrong, and the Romanian government also told the Roma people that slavery was wrong by abolishing slavery. Now, the Roma people today they are fully uh, assimilated, integrated there. Not slaves in Romania or any place else on earth. And uh, Romania, uh, during World War II, uh, there were atrocities committed against the Romanian people by Adolf Hitler and the Germans. You've heard about the concentration camps and uh, about you know, Jews being killed in Poland and, you know, in Eastern Europe, you understand, know German Jews who were killed and other Jews all over. Just your Jews, wherever the German army, military went, they murdered the Jews, Christians, just, uh, and, and also in Romania, over 300,000 Romanian Jews, Christians, and others were murdered by the Adolf, by Adolf Hitler and the Germans. Now, I had to say this, you know, use your common sense. I know people uh, try to bring up about the Romanian people who were in the government. Now, if you want to bring up something about the Romanian people, use your common sense. Before World War II, were these atrocities being committed? Were there concentration camps? No. No. These atrocities were not being committed by the Romanian people against the Romanian people. Why did you have to wait for wait World War II? Those Jews were walking around living in Romania before World War II. 
and nobody said anything to them or to the Christians or to anybody prior to World War II. And uh, also, the Roma people were murdered. Over 10,000 of the Roma people were murdered by Adolf Hitler and the Germans during World War II. Now, the Romanian people, they were not involved. They did not participate in the East African or West African slave trade. Now we're going to go to the dictionary and uh, like we've been doing, we're going to continue to go to the dictionary because uh, people lying, people lying and they, you know, it's no excuse. There's no excuse for the lies they tell. I do have my possession of Merriam Webster Dictionary. Copyright, Mr. Powell. Copyright 2004. I do have a Merriam Webster of uh, Osiris. Possession of Oscar, paperback, dictionary, and thesaurus. First edition, 2001. Second edition, 2007. Third edition, 2009. I also have my possession of Pocket Oscar American Dictionary with the SARS. First edition 2002, second edition 2006, third edition 2010. I can't always remember everything sometimes. Yeah. But I do have my I do have my uh, magnifying glass from Amazon.com. 
Six dollars, you know, so about three dollars for the postage. Now I know some people looking at at this, at this magnifying glass, looking at small, but you know they had other magnifying glass, and uh, but I was, I knew I had one coming, so I, I reason why I bought this one. I was, you know, just to have an extra one, you know. Now this is the one that came with the dictionary, my Oxford, uh, my compact Oxford English dictionary. Alright, so let's go to the dictionary. Now this is a copyright 1986. This copyright 1986. Now, there are, there are many people who were involved in making this dictionary from the editor-in-chief, from the editor-in-chief, associate editors, assistant editors, the editorial staff, uh, editorial assistants. <coughs> uh, secretarial and clerical assistants outside consultants. And a lot of education, bachelor degree, master degree, PhDs, you know, they were all involved. You know, they all contributed to making of this dictionary.
Okay. First word we're gonna deal with is gang. Gang number one. Gang number one is a noun. Middle English from Old English, a king to all high German. Gang, act of going. Old Norse ganger, act of going. Gop, gang, street. Okay, number one. The act, manner, or means of going. That's what the word gang means. The very first definition. The act, manner, or means of going. Passage, course, journey, also gate. Number two, A. Dialect, chiefly British. Number one. Passage, way, road, lane. Number two. A pasturage for cattle, B, chiefly Scottish. A journey, especially one undertaken to perform an arrow, C, chiefly Scottish. The amount as of wood, water, or peat that can be carried at one time or in one trip. Number three, A, one, a set or full complement of articles, outfit, and gang of oars. That's an invention. Number two, a combination of similar implements or other items arranged so as to act together to save time or labor. A gang of solvers or to produce in one operation or as one unit. A gang of printing plates, printing several jobs on a single sheet. B, a number of individuals making up a group as number one. A group of persons working under the same direction or at the same time, same task. Migrants laboring in gangs in the woods, mines, and fields. American guide here. Uh, gangs are expert bottomers. Number two, a company of criminals, a gang, a desperate banditti. Squealed on the other members of the gang. Number three, an elementary and close knit social group of spontaneous order, especially such a unit composed of antisocial adolescents, teenage gangs. Number four, a group of persons acting in accord who are believed to engage in improper acts or to be influenced by self seeking, corrupt, or unworthy motives. Made captive by the gangs with seized power. Denounce the musical gang being in power. A, politi a political gang dragged out the racial issue to divert attention from itself. Number five, a group of congenial persons having close and informal social relations. A group of persons drawn together by a community of tastes, interests, or activity. One of a gang they call one another great. Invite the gang plus some pretty girls. Where's the gang going tonight? The gang in the office. Now number six. A flock or herd of animals. A gang of little chickens. A gang of elk. Okay, gang number two is a bird. 
number one, to attack a person as a gang. Okay, young hoodlums always gang you. Try to gang him and take it away from him. Number two, A, to assemble or operate mechanical or electronic parts simultaneously as, simultaneously as a group. Circuit, circuits gained together by gears. That's an invention. B, to arrange in or produce as a game. It's tight pages or penny sheets, often used with up. To form a To form a group or gang, keep company, go travel, empty headed, idle handed with those who gang together. Gangs with those kids on the next block. Often used to up. The boys would gang up around the corner drugstore. Okay. Now gang number three. Okay, gang number three. Middle English, ganging to go. Walk from old English, gang gang, a king to old high German, gang gang to go. Old Norse, gang gang, got gang gang to go. Old English, gang, act of going. Scottish, go. So that's what the word gang mean. I wrote it down. Now let's look at gangster.
Okay. Gang syllable break stir. Gang syllable break stir. Gang person, a member of a gang of criminals. Gunman thug, also a person who uses violence, intimidation, or other extra legal means of coercion for business ends. Racketeer, a gangster, and some kind of syndicate that controls stores and nightclubs. Name one gangster as the real boss of the city. Okay, so that's what gangster means. Gang, uh, silver break, stir. Okay, now let's go to uh. You know what I'm gonna say? Time while I'm in this dictionary. Let's, let, me, let me go to uh, 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 fraternity. Now, as you know, fraternity, fraternal, is Latin, and it means brother. Fraternity, fraternitus, fraternal, fraternus, plus ite, itus. Okay, number one. A group of people associated or formally organized for a common purpose, interest, or pleasure as a a religious or a religious or ecclesiastical brotherhood be an interest or pursuit company give fraternal order. C a national or local men's student organization formed chiefly for social purposes having secret rights and a name consisting of usually three Greek letters and an organization of alumni. Organization for school as a professional or extracurricular activity, especially a national honorary organization, including students and alumni and honorary fraternity debating fraternity. Number two, A. The quality or state of being a brother or being brothers. The relationship of a brother or a brother. B. The quality or state of being brotherly or very friendly. Brotherliness. C. And brotherly commonness as an occupation. Men with a fraternity of interest. Three, men of the same class, profession, occupation, character, or tastes. The legal fraternity, the racetrack fraternity. The despised of armchair historians. The despised fraternity of armchair historians. Number four, A, the entire progeny of a single mating. B, a group of siblings. So that's what uh, fraternity means. So when you when we break it down, you know when you break fraternity down, you come to a uh, fraternal. A member of a fraternal order number two a. Wait a minute, excuse me. That was fraternal number one. Uh, two, number one fraternal number one. Fraternalis from Latin fraternus frater plus alis I am. number one a of related to or involving brothers trying to improve the fraternal relationship between the two boys even though their father did not care b of related to or being a fraternity or confederation a fraternal order 
a fraternal chapter house, a fraternal delegation to national meeting see of uh, relating to or being one of many men or sometimes women's clubs or associations usually having secret uh, rights, restricted membership and religious, social, charitable or professional purposes. Number two, of twins derived from two over. That's a got it. Number three, friendly, brotherly. So we should have fraternal nations instead of warring organized interests. So that's fraternal. Now fraternal fray turk. Now fray to number fray turk number one. Okay, uh, fray tour, fray tour, old French fray tour, short for old. Okay. Refectory, refectory of a monastery. Now Freda number two. Latin brother, more a brother. Number one, a member of certain religious orders and the Benedictine order who is studying for the priesthood, often used as a title or form of address among members of the same or similar orders. Number two, A, a fraternity brother. B, a brother. Freemasons and certain Masonic orders. Okay. Then you have Frat T. Brother. More a fray. So that's what it means. Now let's turn over to freight. Let's go over to freight. F R A. Okay. Okay, now we have two phrases. Now I'm gonna read phrase number one. Phrase number one, Middle English Northern dialect fray, fro, Old Norse fray, more from Scottish from. Now phrase number two. Phrase number two. Uh, Italian short for Freighty brother, monk, Latin, freighter, brother, more a brother, brother, often used as a title preceding the name of an Italian monk or friar, Fray Angelo, Fray Dominic, so Fray, F-R-A, by itself. It means brother. Okay.
So it, that way you know that the uh, fraternity, they be lying. They be lying. See all these historically black colleges and universities. It's no excuse. Don't pretend to be lying. All that hazing they be doing, all that Greek letter secret rights. They make up all that junk. They make up all that junk and be lying. All them Greek letters lying. Three three Greek letters. That come gonna be two Greek letters, four Greek letters, five Greek letters. Why I had to be Greek letters. Why I couldn't just be uh, English letters. See, they be lying. If, they to, if you ask them an honest question, ask them an honest question. Why it had to be three Greek letters? Why it couldn't be four Greek letters? Why it couldn't be five Greek letters? Why it had to? Why it couldn't just be English? And why it had? Why you had to use letters? Period. Why you had to make letters? Why you had to make uh, use colors? Huh? Why you got to do all these secret handshakes? Why you got to be hazed? Huh? Why you got to be hazed? To be a why you got to get initiated to be a member of, of the fraternity? They be lying. They be lying. It's, they lying. The fraternity and the sorority they lying. That's all they doing. They lying. It's no excuse. No excuse for the lie. See, that's where all that gang stuff come from, the, the way it's coming from. See, it starts out, you know, the secret secret organizations and organized crime. You had your uh, so, so, uh, fraternities, sororities, the criminal street gangs. You had your religious organizations, man-made religious organizations. They be lying. They lie. That's the, that's the uh, basic of, of the whole thing. Is that they got to lie. Okay, that's fraternity. Okay, so what we're going to do now? I try to save time, keep from having to go back to the same dictionary. Okay, so what we're going to do now? We're going to go to the uh, to the HR. And we're going to go to mob. Now, as you know, this this is the same uh, nineteen a copyright nineteen eighty six.
okay we had the abbreviation ma Okay, mob number one. Mob number one. It's a noun. Origin unknown. Obscure undress. Disavow. Number two. Uh, my woman's cap. Mob cap. Number two. Mob number two. Mob number two. It's a verb. Mob, mob, mobbing, mobs. Okay, number one. Back formation from mobile. Archaic to muffle the head of as in a hood. Number two. Archaic to dress oneself negligently. To go to an unfashionable place disguised or so dressed as to avoid recognition. Alright, mob number three. Mob number three. It's a noun. Short for mobile. Number one. The lower classes of a community. The populace. Or the lower part of it, masses, the use of superstition for the purpose of policing the mob. Political spellbinding to appeal to the mob mind. Number 2A, a large and disorderly collection of people tending to acts of violence. Window smashed and police beaten by the angry mob. A fear of mob rule. People in a large disorderly group. Used without an article. The lane was full of mob. And the house so full we could not get in. Okay, number three. Chiefly Australian. A flock, drove, or herd of animals. Number four, a, a criminal set or organization as of pickpockets or gangsters. Gang, B, click, set, synonym, C, crowd, okay? Okay, mob number four. Mob number four. It's a verb, mob, mob, mobby, mobs. Number one, A, to crowd about an attack or annoy. Mob by autograph hunters before, the, before he could enter the theater. Attack in a mob. A crowd tried to mob him and he ran for safety into the superintendent's office. B. To crowd into or around bargain hunters that mob the stores on sale days. Number two, dialect English. To rail at, scold, abuse. Number three, to hunt as a fox in such a way as to allow the court no chance to escape as by surrounding it. To form a disorderly mob, crowd, or riot in a mob. The way the newsman mob forward, okay? Now, mob the abbreviation. Number one, mobile. Number two, mobilization. Mobilized. So that's what, that's what mob is. It's an abbreviation. Mobile. Mobilization, mobilize. So let's move down to uh, mobile. Okay, mo. Now you know there's a syllable break when you say mobile. Mo, syllable break, bow. On bill. Mo, move, mo. We have to use the pronunciation uh, chart. We have to, you know, okay. Uh, let me show you all sometime. From Latin, mobilis. Latin, mobilis. From Latin, mobiri, to move, plus abilis, evil, more move. Number one, capable of moving or being moved from one place to another. Movable as a capable of moving or being moved about readily. Global of proteins that are mobile and rod shaped proteins that 
form of solid structure. The tongue is clearly the most mobile articulator, characterized by an extreme degree of fluidity. Ether and mercury are mobile liquids. Compare viscous, being organized and equipped for ready movement as by truck or air transport, mobile fighting forces, mobile television, units for on the spot reporting. C. Free for use or service anywhere, not restricted or committed. Mobile dollars to be used where they can be where they can best advance the welfare of the whole institution. Mobile labor could be sent anywhere in England. D. Designed, designed as a vehicle, as a trailer or truck. Mobile loudspeakers carrying the campaign speech into the streets. A mobile missile launcher. Mobile homes. Number two, capable of or tending to change. Changeable as a change of riddle in appearance and expression under the Influence of mind or feeling. His mobile face mirrors every feeling from bitter sadness to ecstasy. B. Easily swayed in feeling, purpose, or direction. A mind adventurously flexible but not frivolous. But not frivolously mobile. C. Marked by flexible but not frivolously. Oh, excuse me. Marked by. marked by ready adaptability, industrial resources so mobile that they could be quickly switched from producing for export to producing for home demand, alert and flexible in the use of resources, a mobile imagination, an organization mobile enough to cope with any emergency. Number three, characterized by frequent or continuous movement. The wind and mobile grasses specifically tended to travel or migrate from place to place. We began as explorers, empire builders, pilgrims, and refugees, and we are still today the most mobile people on the face of earth. The Indians of the Great Plains were mobile bison hunters. Number four, a characterized by the mixing of social groups, the general confusion and moral standards which characterizes mobile societies afford an opportunity for a shift in social status. American society, though highly mobile, is not classless. Having the opportunity for, for or undergoing a shift in status within the hierarchical society, hierarchical social levels of a society, a society in which women are more mobile than men born of upper mobile middle class parents. Number five, marked by the use of vehicles for transportation. Mobile defense, mobile warfare, took to their cars for a mobile holiday. Number six, of relating to or having the characteristics, characteristics of a mobile. All right, now mobile number two. Okay, is a mobile, mo, silver break, but mobile bow bill okay when you read the definition it's pretty much saying the same thing it's talking about being mobile now there's a mobile number three now the pronunciation is a little bit different now number three is, is uh, M-O-B syllable break I Syllable break L E. Okay, it's a noun in it's Latin. Mobile focus. Changeable crowd. The movable common people. Neutral mobilists. Uh, okay, then you got number four. Uh, Mo Mobile, Al Mobile, Alabama, Mobile. Look, I'm not going to get into a dispute. 
I'm gonna have to go to the uh, pronunciation. Mobile, Alabama, Mobile, Alabama. I'm not gonna get in no dispute with anybody. All right. Okay. So there's mobile. Now let's go to let's go to mobster. Why we here? Let's go to mobster. Okay, mobster is a noun. Mob plus stir, a member of a criminal gang. Mob plus stir, a member of a criminal gang. Okay. Okay, now we wrote this down. Let me, let me, I'm gonna show you everybody uh, the mob number three because it's different. I'm gonna make sure I show you everybody uh, mob number three.
Mob. So it says right here, Mob number three. The first, the first definition. So that's that what that that what that mean right there. Mob number three. The, the one we just read. Mob number three. The very first definition. Mob number three it says short a trip is short for mobile. Number one, the lower classes of a community, the populace or the lower part of it. Classes of classes of a community, the populace. Wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. The lower classes of a community, the populace or the lower part of it. Masses, the use of superstition for the purpose of policing the mob, political spellbinding to appeal to the mob mind. So that's 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 the uh, mob they talking about. Okay, let's okay. Uh, Now, this 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 part of the dictionary is um uh, <coughs> the copyright is 1976. Copyright 1976. Like I say, when I ordered uh, the dictionary, uh, they sent them one by one from Amazon.com, and so uh, I received the S through Z, and it's the copyright 1976. Which is it's okay. It's still Miriam Webster, and uh, it's copyright nineteen seventy six. We're in the S, 
So we're going to look up sorority and we're going to also look up the suffix stir. We're going to look up sorority first. Okay, sorority. Sorority. Middle Latin, sororitas. From Latin, soro, sister. Plus, itis. Active, more and sister, number one, sisterhood. Number two, a societal or club of girls or women, as in a college. Compare fraternity. Now, sororial. Okay, sororal, sororal. Sororal adjective Latin soro sister plus e out more as sister of relating to or in the relationship of a sister sisterly so sororal sororio sororitas sororius sororal from soro sister plus E out sorrow so then you have sorrow okay so sorrow by itself so when you when you say sorority, the soro means sister. That's all it means, sister. So all that line that the fraternity and sorority do, talking about all them Greek letters and all the hand secret handshake stepping in, you know, the, the hazing to be initiated. You have to be hazed, you gotta be initiated. They be lying. We supposed to be brothers and sisters. Why we gotta be initiated? Why is that? Why we gotta be initiated? We supposed to be sisters. We supposed to be brothers, but we gotta be initiated. We gotta be hazed.
Okay, so that's Saroin. So let's look up Stir. So like I say, the Saroin, the fraternity and the Saroin, they be lying. The, the fraternity, the Saroin, they lying. Everything about it is a lie. They lying. All that gang and mob, they lying. Little girls and little boys on the west side of Chicago, on the south side of Chicago, all over the state of Illinois, as well as surrounding states. The fraternity, the sorority, they lying. Little girls and little boys on the east coast, on the east coast, the fraternity, the sorority, they lying. Little boys, little girls in Los Angeles, California, talking about some blood gang, crib gang. The fraternity of Saroid, they lying. They lying. Little boys, little girls in America, well, all around the world. The fraternity of Saroid, they lying. They lying. Stir S T R. Okay, okay. stir. Okay, stir. Following a voiced consonant, as in mobster. It's a noun suffix. Middle English stir, stir, S T R E, E S T E R E. From Old English, estri, E S T R E, female agent, female agent, akin to Middle Dutch stir. Number one, one that does or handles or operates, a spinster, a tapster. A teamster. Number two, one that makes or uses songster, punster. Number three, one that is associated with or participates in gangster, gangster. So that's stir. Okay, stir, S-T-E-R. A personal thing associated with an activity of quality, old English, estuary, ice street. It's an early example referred to a woman engaged in an occupation such as booster, monster, and spinster. This last originally a woman who spins the ending was the feminine equivalent of words ending in E-R-E, which later became E-R-C-E-R number one. It has long been extended to activities undertaken by men such as chorister or teams the words in which it refers to a characteristic of the person include youngster in the U.S. derived oldster as well as hipster, a person who is hip, who follows the latest trends and fashion less often the end it refers to objects, roadster being a rare example. It often has derogatory sense tipster, rhymester, uh, prankster. Many of these are more common in the U.S. than Britain, gangster, gangster, hookster. Joster, monster, punster, trickster. Such terms continue to be formed again most most frequently in the US. Popster, hyster, soulster, scamster, master comes from old English. Magister, but derives from Latin. Magister. See also Meister. Meester. Others that derive from Latin words with the same ending include minister and barrister, formed from bar, the imitation of minister, as do nouns, 
in it in Astra, such as poster, in words such as boaster, jester, broadcaster, and protest. The suffix E is E R. C E R number one. On a stem in the S T. Okay, now we're going to go to the Oxford English Dictionary. Copyright 1971. 1971. And you know, we've been continuing talking about the historic of black colleges and universities. And uh um, and you know the African American community and uh the influence and uh no excuse. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. For the negative uh, influence that you've been uh, perpetrating in the African American community, there's no excuse. They had a dictionary, and what we were talking about the uh, Webster's third new international dictionary. That means there was a second and a first. There's no excuse, as well as this dictionary. This is not the first dictionary in 1971. There was another dictionary that was completed in 1929, published in 1933, with the first supplement before World War II. Before World War II. And they had a dictionary. There's no excuse for the historically black college and university here in the United States of America to perpetrate the offenses that they have perpetrated against the African American community. No excuse. There's no such thing as no, no African American living on the East Coast talking about they in a gang and the sorority fraternity 
there's no excuse there's no excuse for for all this uh street, criminal street gang activity on the south side of chicago the west side of chicago in the state of illinois as well as surrounding states there's no such there's no excuse to be talking about no blood gang no crip gang in los angeles california as well as and spreading that nonsense throughout the African American community. There's no excuse. There's no excuse. No excuse for all this this negative criminal behavior and conduct in the African American community. And the the uh, uh, the people responsible, the historically black colleges and universities. That's who need to be held accountable and responsible for the lies that you tell it. There's no excuse. I, like I told you, man, I'm telling like I told you. Like, I'm, I'm, like I've been telling you. I, mean, I need some hand grenades. I need some rifles with a scope on it. See? That nonsense. That horse playing. I need some hand grenades. I need some rifles with scopes on. No excuse. No excuse. First word we're gonna look up is gang.
Okay, gang. Old English. Gang. Gong. Masculine. Old pre. Gong and gong. Gang. Dutch. Gang. Old High German. Gang. Middle High German. Then you got Old Norse. Ganger. Danish. Gang. Swiss. Gang. Gotham. Gang. Old Teutonic. Ganger. Noun of act action related to gang gang. To go. The cognate Old Norse. Gang gang. Now it's a weak feminine walking course. Gun neutral. A passage. Lobby. From which some other English session may possibly be derived. Okay. This is what the word gang mean. Number one. Action. Or mode of going. Way. Passage. That's what the word gang mean. Number one. Action or mode of going. Way. Passage. Okay. Number two. The power of going. Ability to walk about. B. Manner of going, gate or carriage. C. The act of walking. D. Figure the currency of money. Old Norse gang. Number three, a journey. Sometimes with definition of extent as a day. B. A traveling or resorting. Number four, a way, road or passage. B. The course of a, of a stream. C. A walk or pasture for cattle. Number five. A step or rung of a ladder. Number six. A turn or spell at any work or exercise. Number seven. The, the quantity or amount usually carried at one time. Okay. Okay, so that was all the definitions up under gang number one. So now we're gonna come to the second definition, gang number two. And it means Yeah, it says the old English gang gone privy appears in later English only as gong only as gong so number two a set of things or persons that's what it means number two a set of things or persons number eight a set of articles such as are usually taken together B a set of tools or implements so arranged is to work simultaneously. Number nine, a company of workmen. B, a company of slaves or prisoners. Number ten, in a band or company of persons who go about together or act in con concert chiefly in a bad or depreciatory sense and a mode. Use, usage mainly associated with criminal societies. B, to be of a gang, to belong to the same society, to have the same interests. Number 11, U.S., a collection of herd or animals of the same species, especially of elk or buffalo. Also, a pack of dogs.
Okay. Alright, so that, that was gang. That was gang. Now we're going to the another, to the next gang. It's a, it's a bird. Gang is a bird. Okay, number one, introduced to walk, go. B, uh, go. C, go and transfer those things in. Number two, phrases. Number three, phrase the logical combination employed substantively. Is the gang by, go by. Okay, gang, that was gang number one as a verb, not gang number two as a verb. Then one, to arrange in a gang, also the gang out, to arrange in companies. To gang in, to come in a gang. So that, that was gang. And it's no, no, no there's no uh, gang stir in this dictionary. There's no gang stir. Okay. Uh, since we in the G, let's go ahead and go to uh, fraternity. So let's go ahead and go to fraternity. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's go ahead Turn to fraternity.
Okay, we in fraternity. Old French. Fraternity. Len. Fraternity. Fraternity. French fraternals pertaining to a brother. See fraternal. Number one, the relation of a brother or a brother's brotherhood. Number two, the state or quality of being fraternal. Or brotherly, brotherly, brotherliness. Number three, a family of brothers. Number four, a body or order of men organized for religious or devout purposes. Number five, a body of men associated by some tie of common interest in company and guild. Number six, and by the men of the same class, occupation pursuits. So that's fraternity, fraternal. Okay, fraternal, Latin, fraternus, from frater, brother, fraternal. Of or pertaining to brothers or a brother. Characterized, characteristic of a brother. Brotherly. Okay, so let's go to Freighter. Freighter. Okay, there's two there are two freight terms freight freighter freighters there are two so freighter number one old French short for refreight refreightor the eating the refreshment room of a monastery a refectory B. Okay, so freighter number one is, is, is referring to the refectory. Freighter number one is referring to the refectory. Now, freighter number two. Freighter number two is Latin for brother. A friar. Number three, a brother or comrade. So, freighter number two is Latin for brother. Okay, so uh, and the pronunciation is the same. I checked the pronunciation and the pronunciation is the same. But freighter number one and freighter number two, the pronunciation is the same. Now you have this freight T. F R A T E. It means brother. It means brother. A fry. It's a it's Italian for brother.
Now when we look at Frey, Frey, Turn over here to Frank. says here in this dictionary in the Oxford English dictionary freight is an obscure form of fro so I'm gonna turn to fro So then, now we in fro, we in fro, F-R-O, F-R-O. Okay, so now, we gotta find, uh,
looking at the uh, fro and it gives you the number to look at you know it's two of them so uh, but it's fro and then it, it, it's for fray Okay, so we we, we done looked at we we gonna continue to investigate throw away fray in the Osmanian. Let's go to the uh, Saroid. And go to Saroid.
Okay, sorority. This land for sororitas. Or Latin, soro means sister. After fraternity. Number one, a body or company of women united for some common object for devotional purposes. You as the female section of a church congregation. Number two, you as a women's society, college or university. Roro, so Roro, Latin Soro, sister plus Al, so Roro, so Roro Al. Number one by one sister on a sister side. That is a sister of or pertaining to a characteristic of a sister or sisters sisterly. Sororio, Sororis, Sisterly, so that's Soro, Soro, Sister. We're going to get ready to end today's video. And uh, again, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also known by Sean Dale, right here in the city of Memphis, in the county sheriff, in the state of Tennessee. Thank all my family, my support for your continued encouragement support. And always put God first. And uh, we're going to come back to my next video. And we're going we're gonna to stay on this. It's too important. It's too important. We not, you know, it's not like we're doing the same thing. No, there's always something that you can learn every time you open up the dictionary. Every time you open up the dictionary, you always something you can learn. You understand? Instead of not trying to educate and inform yourself, 
There's nothing wrong with reading the dictionary over and over again and going over the you know, information. There's always something you can learn.